Greetings, Gemini. Hello, hello. Come on in here for your reading for the week of February 25th through March 2nd. Hello, Gemini. Welcome. I'm Tiffany, and we're going to explore the wisdom of the tarot with intuitive readings. I offer general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Okay, Gemini. But before we get into your reading, I'm going to go ahead and bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. May they be a vessel of truth, insight, and guidance as I shuffle and draw. May your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. Okay, Gemini, let's get into it. What does Divine Spirit need you to know about your upcoming week of February 25th through March 2nd? Let's find out what spirit has for you today, Gemini. How are you? Drop in the comments. What exciting thing have you been up to? What's good? What's not so hot? What are you looking for guidance on, Gemini? <clears throat> Excuse me. Drop it in the comments below. This one card right here. Okay, we're going to definitely hold on to that one. Divine Spirit, what do we need to make Gemini aware of for the week ahead? All right. Your shadow card. Your shadow card is the card that either expresses your hopes or your fears. We will get into this shortly. All right. What do we have for Gemini? Wow, interesting. I just had four Aries. They had seven of pentacles as well. So, Gemini, seven of pentacles, the high priestess, and the hermit card. Major shifts happening for you this upcoming week, Gemini. Let's go ahead and take a look at our seven of pentacles. Are you feeling like... This journey you're on is not what you expected it to be. You're reassessing your why. You're reassessing all the work you've put in. You want to find some sort of control over your situation. You may be feeling like you're losing control over your situation right now, Gemini. Um... So you're doing a lot of reassessment. What's going on in your physical world that you are not completely pleased with, Gemini? Hmm. Let's get we'll we'll get more information on that. The high priestess. There is something you're trying to figure out, Gemini. Something is eluding you. Something mysterious going on in your life. And you you can't seem to put your finger on it. It feels like, you know how you say, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Something is keeping itself. This could be even someone. They're in the shadows lurking. That's what I'm getting. Someone is in the shadows lurking, watching your every move. They're being really mysterious. They're not revealing themselves to you, Gemini. And you feel like you're being watched. You feel like, yeah, you feel like someone's watching your every move. And then with the Hermit card, this might be, the High Priestess may very well be why you are feeling, why you're in hiding, so to speak. You're not out and about as you usually would be because of this mysterious person. You feel like you have 
all eyes on you. You're being watched. And so you've retreated within not only emotionally, but you've retreated physically. You're not out and about as you normally would be. Hmm. This is very interesting. The shadow card. This person is going to reveal themselves whether they realize it or not. You are aware that you are being watched. And maybe that's what that assessment is. You're assessing your own behaviors and actions when you are out in the public eye, whether that's just for personal reasons or for business reasons. You're being very, very mindful of your actions. You're being very mindful of your actions, Gemini, because you feel like someone has their eye on you. They're not revealing themselves. So you've slightly retreated um, from being who you really are in your character, but also retreated physically into your dwelling. You're not going out as much, Gemini, yet your shadow card is I'm getting that you're slightly fearful of who's watching you and for what reason. I need more divine spirit. I need more about this, this individual that is watching Gemini. I don't like this feeling for Gemini, yet I do read intuitively and I don't want to sugarcoat, nor do I want to create any any type of um, panic. I just want to be truthful and honest with you when I am reading. And there's always love and light covering us. Okay, Gemini, be ye not afraid. Let's see what else we can find out. Divine Spirit, give me more for the benefit of Gemini. This upcoming week of February 25th through March 2nd. So, we have... The Knight of Pentacles that wanted to jump out. Divine Spirit. I feel like this person that's got their eye on you, it is job related. They're watching how you perform at your job. It's like they want to find a way to trip you up, Gemini, and say, ha, look, they're not all that great. They messed up over here. This this person is watching your every move. And therefore, that has you reassessing how you perform at work, second guessing yourself. This I feel like this person, this looky Lou, is on the job. Keep your eyes open. Watch out for their behaviors. They will reveal themselves because this foolishness here with them trying to trip you up and get you in trouble with uh, upper management or something, that's coming to an end and it's actually going to be the death of them. They're doing this and they're hurting themselves unbeknownst to them. They think they're going to trip you up or scar your character or your career and it's actually working against them gemini so be ye not afraid this foolishness is coming to an end but i do want to make you aware it looks like this person is on your job what else do we have divine spirit yes there is an awakening you are going to awaken to exactly who this small-minded person is they will be revealed 
and it's going to be to your benefit. Their foolishness is coming to an end. It's not going to work out for them. This is going to work out in your favor, Gemini. You have an awakening to exactly who this person is on the job that's trying to get at you, besmirch your name, besmirch your character and your um, experience and how you perform at work. And you will be able to come back out. You'll be outside again, literally. You won't have to retreat anymore. All right, let's get something from the Shaman's Dream Oracle for Gemini. What do we have? A single card, Divine Spirit, please. Give us this overarching message for Gemini. Single card for Gemini, please, Divine Spirit. Ah, the vanishing mirror. This person's ego is going to be obliterated. They think they are so good, so great. Their ego is going to be obliterated. And, and things are going to smooth out. They are going to be revealed. You are going to awaken to their plot against you to try and take you down because of their own insecurities, because of their ego, Gemini. They're going to reveal themselves. They're going to out themselves. And they are going to obliterate themselves. They are, their ego is going to be smashed big time. And it's going to happen in a public way. And it will be nothing you've done. You just sit back, stay the course, continue to operate in your character, in your uh, grounded demeanor. Do what you know is the right thing to do. They are going to hurt themselves. They are going to obliterate their character they're going to really really harm their career and it might even come to a point gemini where they actually if they don't get fired they will probably quit because the embarrassment will be public and it will be great and you will come out on top gemini one more card from the spirit animal oracle for gemini divine spirit what animal spirit should Gemini operate in this coming week, February 25th through March 2nd. What does Gemini need to know? A single card, Divine Spirit for Gemini. What animal spirit will they embody this week the horse spirit freedom is yours Gemini I am excited for you horse spirit freedom is yours you will be free to move as you always have without eyes on you, you will be able to come out from your hiding place, Gemini. You will have the freedom to breathe, take a deep breath, knowing that this situation of someone trying to take you out, trying to at your job, Having you second guess yourself, that is done. This coming week, February 25th through March 2nd, freedom is yours. Your spirit will be healed. You will fall back into harmony with yourself and in the workplace. You won't feel so anxious. You won't have worry. This is amazing. I'm super excited for you. Stay the course, Gemini. Freedom is yours. You will be liberated. And this looky-loo will be outed in a very public way, embarrassing for them. You will come out on top, Gemini. All right. 
I thank you for watching, Gemini. I hope that this message has resonated with you on some level. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos I have for you. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.